When I was looking at the scenes in Afghanistan, it gave me flashbacks. It was haunting, really, almost to the point that I, I had a hard time uh, looking at the footage. So similar, the sounds. All humans sound the same when they're desperation in their voice. And that's what got me. It just came right back to what happened to me as a child uh, when we escaped from Saigon. And then just one night I said, you know, I, I, I just want to write a letter about it. My name is Sun Vo. I'm 50 years old and I'm a songwriter. The day I will never forget was April 22nd of 1975. We woke up early in the morning, my sister, my mom, and I, and we headed to the airport. And it was complete mayhem. <laughs> It's, it's basically what you see in the movies. People everywhere, desperate, like countless people, really. Uh, soldiers everywhere. And then we finally got to the checkpoint. She took out her papers. He stamped them, and then he let us through. And you're just looking back, and there's just all these people, rah, rah, you know, crying. It's, it's really intense. But then in front of you, like, it's just this quietness. We got on the plane, and uh, then I fell asleep. And then we uh, arrived in the United States. We ended up in Wells, Maine. Uh, we lived with my stepfather who was in the Navy, and he's also the one that got us out of Vietnam. It was a pretty nice childhood, actually. I absolutely see the parallels between Kabul and what happened in Saigon. I just wanted to send a message to the Afghan vets and the Vietnam vets that this was absolutely not all for nothing. There are so many refugees that were able to escape. You were part of it. You, you helped make it happen. What you did it means everything to them. It's amazing what you can do when you have a second chance. That's all we want. And it means everything to me. I thank you from the bottom of my heart to this day.